Well, hello there. I'm Daniel Patrick Sheridan. Uh, here with me is my friend Joey Black. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Dan. Uh, today we're going to be talking uh, about radio, terrestrial and satellite. Um, so you work at Sirius XM right now, right? Correct. All right. And uh, how did you wind up there? You started out uh, terrestrial radio? Yes. I actually went to Bergen Community College. I uh, okay, got an nice. internship working in New York radio, stayed in New York radio, worked in it my whole life, uh, got an air shift, and a position came open at Sirius XM. At the time, they were not even broadcasting nationally yet. There was some guy driving around in Kentucky. We were broadcasting to one car to make sure it was working. And they needed uh, some help, someone that knew country music, someone that knew bluegrass music. And uh, I went over, and I've been with them since 2002. So, so do you right now you drive around Kentucky, or is that not part of your job? Uh, sometimes it is part of my sometimes job because I still right. work in bluegrass, and that's the Very bluegrass nice. state, so that's where we go. Uh, so what exactly do you do for them? Uh, what do you mean uh, by you do bluegrass? Uh, my position is a program director, and I also host. I host for Bluegrass Junction. I have a show in the afternoons, uh, which I voice track pretty much a half hour before it airs, so it's as up-to-date as it can be being voice track, meaning I record the tracks earlier. Uh, if there's any updates that happen in that four-hour span of my show, I'll go in and recut tracks, though. Uh, but the other portion of my job is programming. I set up the music logs, all of the production that you hear between the songs, um, manage the rotations. I work with the disc jockeys, so they're put it, uh, putting out the best presentation that they can using the listener's time you know, efficiently. And uh, I get to write copy. I get to uh, set up the interviews with the stars. Um, it's, it, it's a great job. Yeah, it sounds really cool. I do it for four channels, by the way. It's Prime Country, The Bridge, uh, Red, White, and Booze, which is a classic rock and country hybrid, and Y2 Country, which is a, a 2000s-based country channel, like an okay. era-based channel. So you started out with Bluegrass, and then yes. they just you did a great job with that, and they said, hey, Joey, you want to start well, when I Well, when I first came to Sirius, we weren't merged yet. Sirius and XM were two separate companies yet. Uh, when I started at Sirius in New York... Uh, I was hosting on Bluegrass and coordinating for the channel, putting together, put, getting the music loaded into the computers and doing all the, you know, the secondhand work, kind of. But I was also hosting on a bunch of the country channels coming from an on-air background. Okay. So, like, what does your day typically uh, consist of? Like, what are you going to wake up do tomorrow? Uh, well, the alarm goes off at about 5.30. 5.30, uh, right. Then you I get all shower, ready. Yeah, I get all, well, yeah. showering's optional. It's radio. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I get it's all ready. Too. Then I wake my daughter up. The rest of the house gets up, and I'm usually out the door on a bus. New Jersey Transit is always a, a fun adventure in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I usually get to the station, uh, to the building, at about 8.30 or so. Um, we have a meeting every morning at 9 a.m. with this new personalization project that we're working on. Um, I cut my show. I uh, schedule my logs. I talk with my jocks about what's coming up, work on production, uh, work on the new personalization project that I'm talking about. And, uh, I mean, you know, it's very fluid. It's, it, you have these certain amount of things that you have to get done, but then what crises are happening or what special event you have going on that day or live broadcast, or whatever. So it, it's very fluid, um, which keeps it from being boring, you know? Cool. Yeah, it's and a fun job. Do you have a favorite part of the day is uh, brushing your teeth? Probably got to be up there next yeah, to commuting. Yeah, that's right? up there. Oh, commuting is definitely <laughs> not my favorite part of the day. Uh, probably hosting my show still. I mean, that's why I got into it to begin with. And it's the very creative side that you still get to be creative and you know, put your mark on things. But I also love the programming aspect as well. I like to build the databases and work with the music that I'm very passionate about. You know, it's one thing about Sirius XM. You know, our metal guy, Jose, he lives and breathes metal. So, like, you know, he can call up guys from Slayer and Anthrax just on his cell phone, and he has them on it. But you, you can't get paid to do that anywhere else in the country, mm. kind of. You know, same thing with Bluegrass. It's like you can't have a job really anywhere else in this capacity to it. So it's very, you're very passionate about what you do. So programming and hosting, probably my two favorites. That's cool. So my it sounds like community. you're always moving forward and always doing new things. Uh, yeah. What are you working on now? Do you have the latest and greatest project? Well, mentioning the personalization project, right now you can go on to SiriusXM.com and there's a bunch of channels that are already set up with MySXM um, and you can basically personalize it. So take Prime Country, for example. We play 80s and 90s country music. Garth Brooks, Reba McIntyre, Alan Jackson. You can tailor that now so it's all 80s, all 90s, fast, slow, um, 
more twangy, less twangy, more pop sound, whatever. So, and all the, I mean, you know, think if you get to go on a 50s channel and you really don't like doo-wop. So you could now take the doo-wop out of the programming and tailor your channel. So it's, and that's, it's, uh, it's a challenge. But uh, cool. it's great. Yeah, well, it's definitely it the next. Sounds like you have a. Uh, it's definitely the next step. Really cool job there. Thank you. Full envious of you there. Come on, Dan. You come by us anytime. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. Join us Thanks next for week. Me. We'll be uh, interviewing Howard Stern. Have a great day.